welcome back to my channel this is kuldeep here as a part of today's session we will see few errors like web driver cannot be resolved to a type chrome driver cannot be resolved to a type and after that we will try to figure out like what is the root cause behind these errors and how we can fix these out okay so this is the whole agenda for today's session let's start but friends i will strongly recommend that please watch my this video that is how to set up selenium web driver in eclipse because this problem is somehow interlinked with the selenium web driver configuration in eclipse side okay so this will be helpful in setup of selenium in eclipse so please watch this out okay now let's jump into our problem this is my qa test project and inside this i have created a simple selenium program where i am launching the chrome driver opening the gmail.com inside it then getting the page title after that i am clicking on this help link which is present on the gmail home page now here you can notice that if i mouse over here then you can see that i am getting a error that is the web driver cannot be resolved to a type okay and here i am getting chrome driver cannot be resolved to a type all right and if i go here then again it is giving an error why cannot be resolved okay if i click here then it is giving the error the import org.openqa cannot be resolved okay so we are getting the error at each and every place now let's see that how we can fix it out okay so friends we need to understand that the root cause behind this issue is the jar files which are required for the selenium missing from this project that's why we are getting this error okay sometimes what happens for any reason if these jar files got misplaced or deleted then we start getting this kind of error the same thing happened here as well so how we can check that the jar files are present in our project or not so simply right click go to this build path select this configure build path now if we click on this class path then you can see that there is no selenium jar files present that's why we are getting this error okay and from here we can get the jar files simply go to the selenium official website click on this downloads and as we are working with the java here you can notice that it is the stable version so we can simply download it all right it is getting downloaded now we need to extract this folder i will simply right click extract all all right this folder is getting extracted and here you can see like it is giving us a lot of jar files so lots of jar files are present here and inside the lib there are also couple of jar files so let's do one thing copy this folder 
and let me create a new folder here selenium latest jar files okay paste the complete folder here now go back to our project and uh, from here actually we need to click on this add external jars okay and this was our folder selenium latest jar and just simply select all the jar files which are present here okay add it and we have some jar files inside leaf folder as well we need to add those jar files as well all right apply and close simply save it cool here you can notice that all the errors has gone so we cannot see any kind of errors in this program now and let's see that is it working or not simply run as java application okay so it has launched the chrome open the gmail.com and clicked on the help button as well perfect so it is working fine now so friends i hope you got the concept here once you observe this kind of error like web driver cannot be resolved to a type or chrome driver cannot be resolved to a type so simply right click go to this build path configure build path and make sure that all the jar files are present inside this class path in case any jar files are missing or somehow this folder is getting deleted then you will start getting this kind of errors okay let's intentionally delete few files from here okay so let me remove these jar files from here okay remove save and apply you can notice i am started getting those kind of error again simply you need to just right click go to configure build path and again from here actually you can add those missing jar files all right now let's consider another use case let's say that uh, you have created a a maven project and uh, you have added the jar files with help of maven dependency so you can notice that it is a very simple program close and quit and uh, this is my pom.xml file okay. things are working fine here okay no errors as of now but again if intentionally i delete this folder from here control x and control s if i save it then again you can notice that i am getting the same kind of error here okay web driver cannot be resolved to a type and uh, chrome driver cannot be resolved to a type so which means there is some problem with the selenium dependency means the jar files are missing here that's why we are getting this kind of error so let me simply control z and save it again all right so this got resolved friends i hope that you got the point like how you can fix these issues okay so if you are adding these jar files manually then you simply need to go to this build path configure build path and just ensure that all the jar files are present inside your class path folder if you are creating the maven project then you just need to make sure that you have added a selenium java dependency there friends that's it for today's video i hope it is helpful so thank you for watching my videos please like comment share and subscribe thank you so much